What is up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. I'm excited about this one. From Great Lakes Brewing Company in Cleveland, Ohio. This is Dortmunder Gold Lager. Uh, notes from the brewery. Yes, it's known for win winning medals worldwide, but locally it's known as Dort, our flagship lager that humbly maintains its smooth, balanced, and charmingly unpretentious ways. Dortmunder Gold is the beer that li literally sets our bar. Co-formulated with master brewer Thane Johnson, whose handwritten notes appear in our label art, Dort has won over judges around the world and beer enthusiasts around the corner. 5.8% ABV, 30 IBU. Malts used include Harrington Two Row Base Malt and Caramel 60. Hops used include Cascade and Mount Hood. Uh, another beer from up north, of course. Uh, my parents also had some of the, the Porter. I believe it's the Edmund Fitzgerald Porter, it's called. But uh, they were unwilling to give any of that up. So uh, only the one Great Lakes beer to review, unfortunately. But no worries. I'm sure it's going to be very good regardless. So let's check it out. All right, so perfectly see-through. Nice gold color going with the name, I would certainly say. About a finger's worth of head. A little bit of carbonation to it. As I hold it up, it kind of, uh, dare, dare I say, kind of gets some uh, highlights in line with more of a pale lager. The, you know, something like a light straw color, something along those lines. But um, without holding up to the light, it's a nice, pretty color. Again, nice light gold. Not a deep gold by any means. Light, lightish gold, but uh, still quite pretty. All right, let's check it out. Mm. Nice malty backbone. I would say it's your standard everyday lager but ramped up uh, to from a instead of a 10 it's ramped up to about a 14 tons of flavor tons tons of flavor again nice maltiness starting out i'm getting a little bit of a grainy note kind of midway through the tasting experience and maybe just a little bit of hot bitterness in the in the back end so for a lager, there is a whole lot going on. Yeah, there's a little bit of that uh, just kind of tastes like a beer feeling to it, which is, uh, there's nothing wrong with that, especially I think for this style. It's fairly light and um, has a fairly clean finish. and a little bit of the the green note hanging around just a little bit. Mm. But that is that is tasty. That is immensely quaffable. I could probably down this whole thing in in a moment if I really really wanted to. I'm <coughs> excuse me. I'm uh, just trying to hold back and make sure I can get some uh, some good notes out of it. Um. Maybe a little bit of a grassy note going on um, in the front as well to go with that maltiness. But uh, again, kind of a multi front, multi front with maybe just a little bit of grass, very much a, a greeny middle and then a little bit of a hoppy end. Um, outstanding base beer from from uh, Great Lakes, which I don't know. I've had anything bad from Great Lakes. I've tried to. A handful of their things and I don't know I've again this is great the the porter is terrific I believe I had the Christmas ale one of the last couple of years um just one of those breweries one of the few that just uh nothing nothing wrong I found nothing wrong with them to this point I got to check out the brewery a few years ago and uh just really really great great beers from uh Great Lakes in Cleveland Ohio so that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. 
Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You will find links and usernames to all those in the description below. And if you're so inclined, feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.